This is Julie Callista reporting live at Aromat 2012. Uh, we're here in the ASM International booth where we are joined by Tim Hughes who just finished his plenary presentation. Uh, he's from SpaceX and he's going to talk to us a little bit today about what he talked about at his plenary session. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Tim Hughes. I'm general counsel for SpaceX. We're a rocket company based in California. And uh, I had the opportunity today to talk about a few things. First of all, I'll talk about our recent mission to the space station. A few weeks ago, SpaceX became the first private entity ever to birth the International Space Station. So I got to, uh, to chat about that a little bit. We're quite proud of it and show a pretty cool video at the same time, uh, highlighting our Dragon capsule birthing with the space station and splashing down in the Pacific. And then separately, and probably more to the overall point of the conference, I spoke about the efficiencies uh, that SpaceX tries to drive in our design and manufacturing processes, um, our overall philosophy as a company uh, in that regard, and some of the suppliers uh, that we rely upon, some of whom are uh, uh, participants and certainly sponsors of, of Aramat 2012. One aspect of the way that SpaceX uh, differentiates itself from other traditional launch vehicle providers is that we've tried to drive as much of the manufacturing in-house as possible. Right now, about 80% of the vehicle by value is done in-house. Um, and that's not necessarily um, by design originally. What we tried to do is, is rely upon suppliers who can yield the greatest cost uh, benefit to SpaceX. Uh, and when that can't be done, we take it in-house. Uh, and so uh, right now, SpaceX does a significant amount of the vehicle in-house. And um, we uh, have really returned U.S. manufacturing uh, with respect to launch vehicle technologies uh, or, or build that back up. And what we're finding as a result of our overall labors is that the price point for launch vehicles in the U.S. via SpaceX has come down significantly and we're able to penetrate uh, a market that was once dominated by the U.S. in the 80s uh, but has since uh, dwindled to almost zero percent of the market uh, over the past two decades. SpaceX is bringing that back up uh, we've recently signed deals with four international purchasers of launch, and uh, we should see the curve moving up the right way uh, relative to U.S. competitiveness. Great, thank you.